Hello, uh, I'm going to give you an idea of how thieves are used and what they do. Okay, um, first thieves can only attack half their score, but I mean double their score. So I can only attack up to number 67, or I can only attack down to number 13. I can attack this guy or any above this because of the how it works. Okay, uh, I'm going to attack number 54. He's a banned empire. He isn't here anymore. Uh, so I'm going to go over all the thieves attacks and show you how to, what they do. Okay, uh, what number was that guy again? I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, 54. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to attack, and we're going to enter a thieves, and we're going to steal army information. I'm going to show you why you do that. All right, uh, I'm going to show him. All right, we're going to go ahead and use three turns so I can get there. You see, he's at 100 percent. I'll show you how that's going to change. Uh, we'll use the three to get to him. And I stole his army information. The reason I want to do that is I want to know what kind of army he has. Okay, I see he has swordsmen, archers. He's rich. I can see that. So I'm going to want to steal gold from him. He has some food and some wood. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our army home. It takes six turns back and forth to get him back. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we know his army information. I'm going to show you how that's useful. All right, next thing we're going to get home. All right, they're at home. I don't recommend you go three turns at a time and just steal stuff, but I'm just, uh, this is a demonstration. Attack again. Uh, his number was 54. Next one down is steal, we want his research information is what I'm going to do next, okay? And I'm going to show you why you want to steal those two at the same, always together, okay? If you steal the army information, steal research information. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that. See his percentage is still 100%. I'm going to go ahead and go three turns real quick. And his research is he has 79 defense points. Okay. What I want to do next is I know he has 79 defense. And I want to go down here to my defense calculator. And what I'm going to do here, and when it opens up, is I know that guy was a Byzantine, so I'm going to type in Byzantine. He had 79 defensive research levels. Okay, I'm going to assume he has a 100% great wall. Um, back to this, I'm going to go back to that army information and I'm going to type that in there. All right, uh, you're going to want to type in 63. Uh, he's done, I don't have the research on that. I'm sorry, 185, 089 on swordsman. And he had 108, 614 in archers. All right. And I am going to calculate. His defense is 7 million right now. Uh, I don't have any army up right now. But if I did, I'd come back over here. And I'd have attacking power. Uh, right now, it's only 636,000. Uh, I'd have to have, again, 7 million to break him. Uh, but that's how you'd find somebody's defense. And then you'd come over to their attacking power, uh, which would be under the attacking uh, video. Uh, but this is basically why you would steal their army information, okay? Uh, back over here, we know his defense is 7 million. All right, we're going to go ahead and close that out. Uh, we're going to go back to and bring our thieves home. All right. Uh, next thing we want to do is... Go down here to the thieves again. Uh, and we are going to uh, steal his building information. This is actually kind of a useless uh, <coughs> option. Uh, <coughs> you don't want to you do it much. If you were trying to homeless him, you'd do it. But basically, if you want to find out... Uh, how many towers he have, but you'll steal army information. That, so you'll never ever use this really, unless you're homeless in him. But that's how many buildings he has. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using that very often. Okay, keep on. We're going to get home, uh, and here we go again. All right, still good. We stole his army, his building information. Now I'm going to show you something. We steal his goods. We have attacked him three times so far. We started at 100 percent. At this point. He will be at 92%. Uh, 
how these attacks work on thieves, catapults, and army are if you start at 100%, they will have three attacks at 100%. So you will take 100% of what you should be taking. Uh, after that, you will drop to 92%. Where I'm only going to steal 92% of what my thieves generally would steal. Okay, uh, And then it goes down to 84% after I've attacked him six times. And down to 76% after I've attacked him nine times. And down to... 68% after I've attacked him 12 times, and 60% 15, and then I will no longer be able to attack him after 15 times. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the three turns, and here we go. We have stolen $1 billion, seven, $700 dollars some food, swords, wine, stole a lot of wine, a lot of swords. Okay, uh, that's what steel goods is for. All right, uh, we're going to bring our people home. All right. Now, we have poison water. All right, this is a nice one for what, who we're attacking, okay? We remember that he had that many army, okay? So we're going to go back over here to a attack screen, and we're going to go three more turns, and we're going to see what we do with him. We'll see the attack right here. We killed 4,000, 5,000 basically swordsmen, 3,000 archers, and a bunch of people. I will lower his defense some, not much. Uh, and now we're all the way at 84%. He must have been attacked by other people. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but I'm about to blow up my warehouses. I better build a few warehouses on my uh, plains lands. There we go. Okay. And we're going to bring that guy home. But that's basically your poison is uh, army. Uh, if he's a, if he's towers, you're not going to use poison water, of course. Uh, if he's army, you're not going to want to use this next uh, option unless you're trying to homeless him. But you won't with this set fire. What that's basically going to do is, and we're going to go back again. We're at 84 percent. We're not going to kill that many buildings, but this is just an, to show you what they're doing. Uh, three more turns and. We've burned every kind of building he had, a little percentage of each building he had. Some houses, some gold mines, some tool makers, town centers, uh, and that's it. But those are basically what thieves do and how your percentage will lower on attacking a certain per person. Uh, once you go past 100% on a person, unless it's really good money or you have to attack him, uh, I would move on to somebody else. But that's basically how thieves work. Uh, how you use them, and how the percentage go. Uh, thank you.